Happy Monday. It is Monday morning. I'm about to go work out actually, which is not typical because I have been working out in the evenings, but I'm switching it up this week and trying something different where I do like an at-home workout around 11 or so um, before I have lunch or like my first meal. And I'm actually trying the Chloe Ting two-week challenge because I got addicted to watching those videos of people like trying the challenge and their results. And I was like, you know what? I'm just at home, like might as well try something new. So that is what I'm doing right now. I've already started. I didn't film anything this weekend. It's definitely a challenge. So just got back from my walk slash jog. I actually jogged more of it than I usually do. I'm all red and sweaty and gross looking, frankly. I'm eating a rice cake. I didn't shower right after my workout. I got some work done. And because I know I want to go on a walk anyway, and I just would rather shower after my walk. I'm trying to kind of push my cardiovascular strength again because the cardio I've been doing is mostly just walking and there are hills and stuff and a little bit of jogging, but I know I can be doing a lot more. And I realized when I started the Chloe team workouts that my cardio strength has gone down definitely since being in quarantine. Just got back from that and now I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'm gonna do a little bit of self-care. I'm gonna try the Olaplex number three like damaging hair damaging i don't know if they call it a mask but it's like a bond repair kind of thing i've seen you're supposed to leave it on for a while so i might like wet my hair first before showering and then put the olaplex in and just leave it watching Lindsay's vlog my dad just walked in he cut up one of our little watermelons so cheers wonderful post walk snack 12 seconds later also finished my watermelon and i told myself that i would not vlog a single another clip of me looking like this but here we are i just got an email that someone used my airbnb code and they i got like a referral notice of it which is so funny to me because you only get those like emails when the person actually stays at airbnb not when they like add it to their account so i'm just thinking like who the heck is vacationing and staying in Airbnb right now? Made me think I might as well mention I always have my code or I think it's a link down below. So obviously no one's really traveling right now, but the thing about the code is you can add it to your account at any time and then it just automatically redeems it whenever you book later on. So like if you go down and add my code to your Airbnb now, then when things are you know, a little bit better and you can travel and you're booking a trip, you can go and book your Airbnb and get the discount. Then I will stop this madness and put on a hair mask. I just got my hair wet in the sink because I'm gonna shower it off after. So you're just supposed to towel dry it. This is the product, the Olaplex number three. It says on the back, it is not a conditioner. It is a bond builder. Apply from scalp to ends, thoroughly saturated. Which I thought it was just going to be an end situation, but it smells nice. <laughs> I've just heard such good things and seen some good before and after pictures, so... Honestly, that's like the theme of this vlog. I saw good before and after pictures for things, and now I wanted to try them. I feel like it might take a lot to get it all over your hair. On the bottle it says leave it at least 10 minutes or longer, but I was watching a vlog recently, I think it was Maddie Sidlick maybe, and she said she leaves it in for like hours. So I'm just gonna throw it up in a little bun and leave it probably for like an hour at least. We'll see. This feels weird. There it is. Olaplex, work your magic. I will shower in an hour. Two hours later. I ended up leaving the Olaplex in for like two hours. Got distracted with a Liam Neeson movie again. <laughs> And we had dinner and then I was just like, it's been two hours, so I washed it out, took a shower. I just have this little peel off charcoal mask from Yes to Tomatoes for all skin types, which I'm kind of skeptical about, but whatever. So it's just a one time use kind of mask. I've never done this kind, but I like charcoal. So I thought it was one of those like sheet masks. Okay. So you smooth it over, relax eight to 10 minutes and then peel it off. We're just going for it. Let's start with your nose. Oh, this feels refreshing already. Why does this smell kind of like sunscreen? <laughs> We're just going for the entire quarantine glow up in this vlog with, you know, a fitness challenge, with a new hair mask treatment, with a mask, like who knows what else we're gonna get up to. 
I love peel off masks like this though because they're so satisfying to peel off but my skin could use a little refresh I've been sweating more with these workouts so it's like tingling already I'm not sure if that's a good thing or bad ta-da great so now I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and peel it off hello I left it on for like 25 minutes <laughs> I feel like masks the recommended time is never enough here we go my favorite way to do this is just to like make extreme facial expressions and then it'll pull up <laughs> i don't have a mirror to the viewfinder so oh we got a chin strap nice what is it about like the edges of these things that just stick i guess because it's thinner maybe ah, i wish this was like one take one peel for dinner tonight i got a little clip of it we got takeout from our favorite restaurant in Bend called Spork that was closed for a while. I think for the whole month of April they were closed and they just reopened. It's like coming off decently well, but there's still some sticky parts. Well, my skin feels nice. It definitely feels rejuvenated. And I think it looks decent. I'll just get the last few pieces off when I wash my face and then dry my hair and we will see how the Olaplex did. <laughs> okay, I probably still have like mud scraps on my face because I haven't washed it yet. But I'm going to go make a little dessert that I've been liking, so I thought I'd show you guys. I'm gonna slice some strawberries. Some vegan whipped cream from Trader Joe's. And lilies, no sugar added chocolate. And that's dessert. Okay, I didn't put any other products in my hair and I let it air dry halfway. I think it's pretty good definitely like more smooth and less frizzy than it would be i think the olaplex bond repair thing is meant to be more over time and not just like a single use kind of thing the first time success i'm going to do some reading and then go to bed but yeah that was my little self-care product trial of the day the next day it's almost 11 and i'm just gonna have half of a gluten-free bagel with some reduced sugar strawberry jam I just filmed a little drive with me kind of playlist video and it was so much fun and it put me in such a good mood but I'm pretty sure I'm putting that up like in the next couple days so it'll be up before this vlog. I think I did pretty well on that playlist. I was very happy with it. Just clicking through them while I was driving was like damn like there's so many good ones. Um, not like to pat myself on the back but there's so much good music out right now. I found that just going on little drives every once in a while has helped me just like feel the um, illusion of freedom <laughs> and just listen to music and kind of be by myself besides walks. It's been great. So I would highly recommend. I do it a couple times a week and it's great. Like, I got ready and everything this morning because I knew I wanted to film and um, I'll probably just go and edit this video honestly because I want to get it up soon. If you celebrate, cheers everyone. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Where? Okay, let me come out there. There's a parade. Did my workout this morning at like 10. Oh no! I'm missing a parade! Oh. there. Who, like what is the purpose? See, I don't know. Just to be out and about and parade and party. Oh, I see a man in an orange hat dancing. Um, that sound man, carries... Oh, well, you never know. The sound carries so well up here. Yeah. Anyway. I say when we get concerts going on down there. Yeah, you really hear it all. We retook Instagram picture. I was not planning on it, but this morning I heard back that they wanted something different, so I was like, okay, here we go, round two. I just sent that in. And I did my Chloe Teen workout this morning at like 10 and that was day four for me. I'm doing a whole separate video so I don't want to like talk about it too much or give away too much. Subscribe if you're not already if you want to see when that goes up. But after yesterday, yesterday was so much easier for me and I was like, oh, it's going to be smooth sailing now. Like my body's keeping up. And then today I was like, Burr. I think I just don't really do well with fasted workouts, especially hit cardio. My body just doesn't have the energy for that in the morning so i'm gonna see if working out in the evening does better for me i want to do some white strips later back in my apartment i have like a professional whitening kit i did a collaboration for a like charity thing on instagram a couple years ago with a dentist's office and they got a mold of my teeth and like gave me whitening gel that's like very good stuff so i've repurchased the whitening gel separately and just kept the molds of my teeth i do that every once in a while to keep up with my teeth whitening because i drink a lot of coffee and i didn't bring them with me so i'm just gonna do good old-fashioned 
Crest White Strips because I'm drinking coffee every day and my teeth are just like kind of dull. It's another part of this glow up vlog. We'll catch that later. All right, y'all. The time is now. The perfume is oh wow. We're gonna try some teeth whitening. I have my Crest White Strips here. These have Vivid Plus in them and one hour express once a day for 30 minutes and one hour express use once a day for one hour i'm gonna go for vivid let's do a before shot of my teeth they're just really not great right now i have to make sure the lighting can get it yeah see that Ugh. Ugh. let's put it next to something actually white yeah we're getting our teeth back to whiter than before I just brushed my teeth since I ate dinner a bit ago and I wanted to make sure they were nice and clean for the whitening. I'm going to go for the Vivid because it's only 30 minutes. It just says peel, apply, reveal. Easy enough. Upper and lower strip. If anyone has used these, please let me know your thoughts. Uh, how many like uses did it take for you to notice a difference? I don't really have sensitive teeth so I'm not too worried about like pain or anything. Hopefully they actually work. It looks like little band-aid style just right on the front. It seems very easy and like not like it would inhibit your speaking or anything. Okay. Got it right tight on there. Get it right, get it tight. I bent it over the back. Okay, yeah, it'll definitely inhibit my speaking a little bit. <laughs> the strips are kind of nice as opposed to the gel you put in the teeth mold because you have to get the amount just right where it's like enough to whiten it and cover your teeth but if you put too much it like spill out and it gets in your mouth and it's bleh. Touch it. Ta-da! Can you even tell? Hey Siri. Not you, this one. Hey watch Siri. Not you, I don't even know you. Hey Siri. Set timer, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. He understood. Okay, I see you in 30 minutes. I doubt I'm going to see visible results immediately, but... There's only two one-hour express treatments in here. So it's mostly just the Vivid. So there's 10 Vivid and two one-hour express. And it's 33 minutes later. It definitely did, like... Kind of broth. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they definitely look the same, I think. Now, we're gonna do it every day and see what happens when I run out of strip. How many vlogs do you think it today? But I'm on my walk. I have a rest day from the Chloe team workout today. So, active rest day. We'll be walking. I just did another white strip. Also, the lighting is very orange right now, so I need to wait for it to figure its stuff out. So, after two uses of the white strips, this is where we're at. Slightly better initial improvement, but I have started a new book. I really, really tried, you guys, to like the Goldfinch. I think I started it like last week or before that even. That book has so much hype. I've heard about it from multiple people that it's so good. And granted, it's like it's a hefty book. It's about 800 pages, a little less than that, I think. The beginning was really, really good. For the first chunk of the book, this kid is 13 years old, and then he moves. I was just reading so many pages over and over about him, like, getting drunk with his friend, and I was so bored, and I was like, why am I reading this? Like, I was forcing myself to pick it up just so I would get through the book, and I had been doing this for so long, and I was only 30% into it. And then finally, I just posted on my story, and I was like, yo, like, can anyone tell me when this actually gets interesting? Like, I'm not into this at all. So many people responded and said that that book, they didn't find it interesting, they put it down, or that they read it and it only picked up in like the last chapter. And you just had to like know everything for the backstory that it would all tie together in the end. And I was like, you know what? I don't really want to force myself through 800 pages just to get to a satisfying ending of the book. So I decided to veto it, which I don't usually do. I'm not one to just like put down a book that I start. I would just rather spend my time reading a book that I enjoy reading all the way through. Like I wasn't attached to any of the characters. I didn't even like him that much. I decided to put it down. I still don't watch the movie. Ansel Elgort stars in the movie. 
and they're, I think they have a pretty good cast. Even then people were responding and saying the movie wasn't very good either and that the whole thing was just kind of overhyped. So I'm sorry if you really liked it, it just wasn't really for me. So instead I put down the goldfinch, I gave up on it 35% through. Now I'm reading Before We Were Strangers. Like I actually enjoy reading it and I really really like the characters in this one. Like I think that's pretty make or break in reading a book in your interest and like how you want to keep reading on because if you're invested in the characters and their development and everything you're much more inclined to actually read the book. I really like these characters. I really really like the main girl. I hope that's just an update on what I'm reading. I've been posting about that more on Instagram so if you want to follow me I post like book updates and things on my stories. Just whiten my teeth again. Oh they look even better in the daylight. This is good. Good progress. I need to get some work done and editing and such. Just got off the phone with my manager um but yeah before that I'm going to make avocado toast. Trader Joe's has this new gluten-free Italian bread, so it's bigger. So I'm gonna try this, and um, I think it'll be better for avocado toast because their normal gluten-free bread is pretty small. She's smooth. Hello everyone, I came out to my car to get something that I had stored in here for Mother's Day tomorrow. So um, I thought I'd just end my vlog off here. I finished before we were strangers and I know that in that clip I was like raving about it and I do think it's a good book, definitely worth a read, but I thought it was well written and I loved the characters in the part where they were younger, but then when it jumps back after that clip, it jumps back to 15 years later when they meet again something about that with like the writing wasn't as good there was like a disconnect in the characters like i don't know it was very rushed there was kind of like a plot twist where everything was handled weirdly i don't know i just felt that the ending was like very rushed still recommend it it's a really easy read i read it in a day i just want to say i didn't set out to be like i need to glow up in quarantine and i'm gonna come out a different person and change my appearance with like it kind of seemed when i was like talking about glowing up in this vlog it was kind of like a joke I'm not saying at all that you need to like focus on 100 percent full steam ahead self-improvement and come out looking your best of this quarantine like that's not the point and i didn't want that to come across that way at all but it was just like fun new products i was trying and i thought i'd make it like oh well here's me fucking doing new things for my hair and stuff while we're here i was watching it back when i was editing i was like this is kind of dull i think i was just low energy when i was filming those in the evenings but anyway i hope you enjoyed my reactions and first impressions of the products anyway also a follow-up to the white strips after i put them on the second time my teeth did kind of ache later that day i did notice some sensitivity so i'm taking a day off today and i think i might just do them every other day until i run out of them because it's still i felt like it did work a little bit i had only used it twice at this point yeah there's other ways to glow up in quarantine besides like working out and whitening your teeth like that's so superficial like you can glow up intellectually read some new books take an online course i just wanted to make sure it didn't come off like superficial glow up but i thought it was just fun to try new products hope you guys enjoyed this random week in my life in quarantine we're still at it i am halfway through my chloe ting challenge today i need to do my day seven workout later i'm kind of dreading it because it's like my least favorite videos in it but it's okay spoiler alert i have seen results already and i'm not going to give them away in this video because i got want you guys to watch that one but it's like crazy how much i've noticed in just a week of doing these home workouts without any new equipment so anyway love you guys so much thanks for watching this random glow up vlog <laughs> i will see you in my next vlog very soon and thanks for watching Bye.